Okay, okay, so I'm back and I just got done cutting a little bit more firewood. I haven't made a video in a while, in probably about three weeks or two weeks, maybe. I don't know, but it's about almost 9 20 in the morning. Um, Monday the 14th, 15th, I don't know, but. I got some wood from a guy down the road a few days ago, and it's been about three days to get it. I know that seems a lot, and I could have done it in about half an hour to an hour, but he didn't have it all cut up into the right sizes for me to haul it down the road. So here it is. Some of the wood is just a little small. That's just logs right there from a project that I didn't get to yet. That caution tape on the back of my trailer. So no one, no one would rear end me because that's almost happened. That was the first days. Second day. Third day. The first and second day were both about two loads a day. And I got more cut up around down here, down the hill at my house. I probably cut about five quarts a few week, a few days ago. I think it was last Sunday or Monday. I still got quite a bit of wood to cut. Um, my plan today was to try to cut lumber, but my chain saw so chain is very dull. So I just didn't don't feel like sharpening that right now. Or later, so I'll probably go out and buy a new one later. But yesterday I rebuilt my wood stove, and I'll show you what it, look, what it looks like now. Sorry, I just sent in my eyes. Yeah, I rebuilt it. So I want to brick right here is cracked as you can see right there other than that that's fine I haven't had a fire in that yet since I rebuilt it yesterday or last night but I still have trees down and I can't haul them up because I don't know where excuse me where the ball is for my trailer. Well, no, where the ball is for my quad. So I have the ball on my quad, and I hook the chain to it. Well, I can't find my ball. I looked everywhere. I cleaned out my cabinet actually to find it. And I don't know where it is. But I got some more work done on this barn, on the one that's enclosed. As you can see, the pile. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I still have all that out there to cut. There's a quad. It's a 1994 four wheel drive, 300cc off road vehicle, ATV. With my grandpa's, and he did all the service on it. He was a mechanic, and now he's retired. So I got, I got the quad, but now I only really had it for a few days. Well, for a few months. I think I got it in February or Ju June. No, January or February. I'm not sure when I got it though. But here's what I did to the barn so far. Got a row of this oak. Going all the way down, just a little stuff. This here is all white pine. It's all regular pine. But I reinforced the top. Put those on there, put a 2x2x6 two by two by in there. You can, it's kind of rotten. But it's there. I got a hole right there. Not a big fan of that. I just put a dead branch right here so the rain doesn't go down to here or something. 
not stay here because this whole thing here all the way around just flooded just flooded with water after the rain but I finally fixed it so that's something done for the so fall then I gotta do something different for the winter I don't feel like keeping all my stuff out in the winter so that's why I built these so I could get some stuff done Oh, but I don't think I showed you my new chainsaw. Uh, you guys probably can already guess what it is. The being orange. Uh, I'll just show you that. A little hot. That's the Husqvarna. I'm not a big fan of them. At least I like steel better. But... 440, 18 inch bar. Uh, I actually know a guy that's in um, New Jersey. He has a 372 chainsaw. No, he has a 372 chainsaw. One's old and one's new. He bought the new one a few years ago and he's just loving it. But I'm not a big fan of Husqvarna. This thing don't like, don't like to start very much, and it's the pain in the butt to idle. And I finally got to idle today for once, and I just don't like it. I like steel better. I'm a big fan. I'm a fan of steel. Uh, probably will be a Husqvarna. I'm not sure. Yeah, but found out that it went through gas and oil a little quicker than my Plon Pro. But things happen. A lot of things happen. And I finally got that big popple cut up. At least one of them. Part of it. Way over there, all the way down. I got that there cut up. Got over there, cut up. That big bristle over there is part of a tree. A tree that I haven't gotten to yet, and I'm probably not gonna get to it until late fall. But, you know, I saw that my videos weren't getting a lot of views. So if you could please, like, tell your friends about them or do something. So don't put them on Facebook, because then that'll just be stupid. But, really, we only own one acre here, but I get wood from all over where I live. People give me wood, I take wood, you know, really if you, really, if you have any wood that you don't want to burn, if it's popcorn and it's been sitting out in the woods for 10 years and it's full of water, I'll still burn it. What stuff just burns fine in my wood stove. You know, but these big logs that I'm gonna show you, I kind of want to give them to a sawmill. I don't really want them right now. I don't really need them. If you try to cut that one up into a lumber, but it kept on going down and down and down, I just said the heck with it. I'm not cutting. Just got pissed off about it. Cut that up today. That there haven't moved yet. It was part of part of a really big log. Yeah, see yourself trees down. I'm gonna zoom in. There's one. And there's probably three or three to six in there. You know. So I got quite a bit of stuff to do yet. A lot of stuff to do yet before hunting season comes around. Hunting season, we'll be seeing videos of me hunting, and hopefully, we'll be seeing videos of me getting bucks. This year, oh, computer. This year, I'm going big. I go home. This year, I'm going big. 
Right now I'm trying to invest all my money into a pistol because this year there's getting more bears of where I hunt. Last year we just had a boar, which is a male bear. And then this year now we had then last fall me and my great uncle and my his hunting spot and we saw tracks from a mama and a cub. And this year someone saw the mama in last year's cub. Now this year the mama has a new cub. So this year not looking too good for us. People are not starting to use their what gun their pistols out in the woods. They're not bringing them out there, which I'm what I'm gonna have to be doing because I went out to the truck one night, you know, and I, my grandma just turned on the light my grandma does out to look out front. And at the corn feeder, we had a bear. Had a had been 400 and, well, no, more than 400. Had been close to 600 pounds. And this was a big bear. And my grandma just freaked out and had to go wake up my grandpa and then he thought, he said, oh yeah. The bears on some damage to our property, so I just, I just need to have a weapon. But every time I cut, there's been some logs that I haven't necessarily gotten to yet, and I don't know if I should, if I should cut them up or if I, if I should just save them. Well, I'll show you. See, they're pine. That big log right there. Tip my finger right there. That one. That that log was hauled up by my by my dad. Oh, my dad's yard tractor, his lawnmower. It was hauled up by his yard man. That was 19 years old. 20 years old this year. I tell you, that tractor finally died. This year we had a new one. Troy built 46 inch. Nice tractor. I'm not supposed to be driving it, but I did it. <laughs> now what are you gonna do? It's summer. 15 year old, turning 15. 15 year old boy. Has nothing to do. I can't get a job. I don't, they don't want me to get a job. So anyway, I can't put any, any videos on YouTube that are longer than 15 minutes. I'm already at 12 minutes, only 13 minutes. So I'll probably make part two of a video and it's kind of all interesting. But let me know what you guys should think on my next video because there's just something interesting that you probably should all know about and you're probably going to see. So, see you in the next video. Bye.